It's Christmas morning, and we are at Jinba Kogen Shita bus stop, and where we will momentarily be tackling Mount Jinba. I'm not sure where, which direction it is at this point, but. Bright and early in the morning, there is some frost on the plants, so that will have to do for our slightly white Christmas, I suppose. Well, we are at this rather idyllic village in the beginning of the trailhead. Which is one of the nice perks of hiking in Japan, I guess. You get to just randomly walk. Whoops, there's a car coming. Randomly walk through these nice villages that you'd otherwise never find out about. So yeah, it's a fine morning. And we are now at the trailhead. There's a little map over here. And we are about to head for the top of Jimba up here. That's 857 meters up. We are already a few hundred meters up from this trailhead, I believe. So it wouldn't be so tough. Wouldn't exactly be easy either, probably. Yeah. So let's get going. And I will not forget to do the transition this time. Hiking up the face of the mountain and the sun has come up, which is rather nice because now it feels kind of warmer. And also, another perk of the sunshine is that some of these leaves on the side of the trail are catching the sunrise and having this sort of glowing character. Very nice. probably all the water in the soil that has frozen overnight into this interesting thin strands of ice. It's all over the trail at this point. We are fairly near the summit by now. Good. Jiaxiang is making a mighty effort.
We have arrived. That's just him over there. And this is the strange uh, horse, I suppose, that has a odd fake looking head. But yeah, we are at the Jimba Summit, 857 meters. And check out this view. Christmas Day. We're going to spend Christmas Day on top of the mountain. We might as well make the best of it. Got some pear wine thingy. And that is my decidedly ruined Christmas cake thingy that I got from the company. So we're going to have a snack here and just enjoy the view, I suppose. All right, so we've spent maybe a bit more time than we should have at the summit. So we're going to uh, hurry on to the next point now, which is Meio Toge. So Meio Toge, which is where we're heading now, is a sort of a pass that is along the long hiking route, quite well known, between Mount Jimba, which is where we were at, to the famous Mount Takao. And the whole thing takes something like five hours, but that's not something we're gonna do today. So we're gonna just go to the pass and then we're gonna just take a turn down towards Lake Sagamiko, which is where we will end the hike. We're here at Meo Toge and uh, we're about to have lunch. Jia Xiang is over there eating his nigiri. I've got some water cooking for my instant noodles and a bit of fried chicken because around these parts you apparently eat fried chicken when it's Christmas Day and Fuji has decided to hide behind some clouds so that the lookout here is basically without Mount Fuji. Slow mo, Jesser. <laughs> what do you think? Good? Mm, good. Yeah, pretty good, right? And now we go towards Lake Sagamiko, where we will hopefully make it before sundown.
Uh, would you believe me if I said no? No! <laughs> At least it's down slopes now. And it looks beautiful, check that out. Green trees and more trees. Yeah, and shrubs and stones and mountains in the distance. Awesome. So from the end of the hike, the sun is still up, we're not dead yet, and there's an interesting structure of sorts here. Kind of a woodworks place, I think, yeah. sir? Wood yeah, working. woodworking sort of hut. So, yeah, taking a breather before we keep going. I wonder what those are. Are these white thingies kind of arranged like a fence along the mountain? Maybe they are a fence. Maybe we're just not seeing the the things in between. What Jiaxiang says is golden hour now, which is kind of the one hour or so in the day uh, near the sunset where the sun is in just the right position to pass this golden glow and basically turn everything golden. We are very close now and uh, we found a lookout point that overlooks the lake. So check this out. Look at that, it's quite gorgeous. Fun stretch, it's going down, and down, and down, and down. Gotta watch them leaves, they may look harmless, but if you step on the wrong one, come out from under you, and then that's it. You 
probably can't see me but we have more or less done it this is uh, Yose Shrine which is uh, more or less the end of the trail and it's really dark by now but it's not like dark dark so So it is 4.49 and we are back in civilization, so to speak. It's just a little bit before dark, but yeah, we are now at Sagami Town, overlooking Lake Sagamiko. That is where we came out from. And that's the highway. What do you think about your melon soda float? Delicious. Delicious. <laughs> You've heard it here, folks, first. You've heard it here, first, folks. Fuck that. <laughs> So I'm having some kare udon, which is decent. And we have some rather interesting side dish sort of things. That is uh, fried tuna, in effect. It's rather good. And this one is deep fried cartilage, chicken cartilage. And that might sound strange, but it's really good. And over there, just I'm just having uh, oyakudon, chicken and egg, which is good or bad? So so, so so. Not as good as the melon soda. Under difficult and desperate circumstances, Mr. Jiaxian has unlocked his true potential. <laughs> <laughs>